Nikki from Canada and welcome to my square foot garden. Mike has built me a worm post, worm tower and we are going to try it in this bed. I'm going to replace this deep watering one with the worm tower and fill it up with compost and put some worms in and see how it does. Hey, Mike has got the post hole digger and he's digging a hole for me now. Mike has the hole completed. As you can see, he's got holes all drilled in and perfect. So I will backfill it now, add the material and then the worms. Here's the material that's going in. I'll put some shredded paper in the bottom and then this in the middle, worms and more shredded paper. Let's see if I can do this and record at the same time. We'll add this many worms and then top it off with more shredded paper and then water it well. Worms added. More paper added. Now let's water it. Give it a good watering. This is supposed to help the worms amend the soil. So I'll plant some two things at the same time or a couple things close to it and further away and see which one does better. Hello, this is Nikki from Canada and welcome to my square foot garden. Today I am going to install a worm tower made from this three gallon bucket and I'm going to record it. We've been doing some experimenting with worm towers. I have one over in this bed. I have, I showed the installation on the previous video. And I'm going to install this one. I have added shredded paper. I will top it off with kitchen scraps, some worms, and then more shredded paper and water it. And we'll see how this works. I plan to replace the deep watering tube I have here with this warm compost tower. Off they get the kitchen scraps and the worms. Here's the kitchen scraps I will be adding. And the worms are in the bottom of this. I will have to look to see how many I got. I don't see any worms in here, although I know there was some here. So there must be mixed among everything. Okay, I'm going to go, have to go inside and get some worms. I've got 50 worms here. To add. I'll leave it alone for a few days, water it daily, and we will see the results. I will take a picture of my other worm towers as well. Let's go have a look at the one over there that's already installed. Here's my other worm tower that was installed on the weekend. I will add some more kitchen scraps when I get it to put it just above the line. I just made this nice top for it and I planted some 
lettuce things yesterday, so we'll see how it does close to the tower compared from away. Now I will also take pictures of the other towers we have made. We have three different sizes and we have a variety of caps. This cap here and this one with the screen on it like I have in my own garden. And this is a very secure cap. And then we just have this plain cap. And here is the last compost tower that I will be installing this year. This is obviously a five gallon bucket. I'll put some shredded paper in there and dig a hole. I've added shredded paper, halfway full. Now I'm gonna add some grass. The reason why I'm adding grass, well, one of the reasons is I'm a little low on kitchen scraps at the moment. I put kitchen scraps in the green composter and I have my other composter over on the other side of the shed and of course this one worm tower and this worm tower plus my downstairs indoor bed. This is the bed I'm going to put it in. And as I already have it already done for this year, except for this spot, I'm going to put it in there at the end. Next summer, I'll probably move it to the middle of the bed. Right here. It's got the hole digger out, and that seems to be working better. Thank goodness he came along to help. I'd be here all day. shredded paper and water and get this one going. I will add this amount of worms to this bin and see how it goes. As you can see but the watering really took down the level and that water will go to again the deep roots in the bed so i'll do weekly updates and we'll see how this works nikki from canada signing out <laughs>